Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you in ASP.NET how to bind data into a drop down list control using stored procedure. And here we got the final output. Here the country names are added. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this video tutorial, I am creating a new ASP.NET project. Go to File, New, Project. I am choosing ASP.NET Web Application and the .NET Framework is 4.6.1. The application name is Dropdown Store Procedure. Okay. And I'm selecting empty from the templates. Okay. And the project is successfully created. Or open Solution Explorer. I'm adding a new web form page to this project. Right click the project name. Add. New item. I'm choosing web form. The web form name is. DDLS store procedure add and here we got the source page now between this form and do tag I am adding center tag h1 how to bind data into drop down list using stored procedure horizontal line after the horizontal line I am adding a drop down list control open toolbox drop down list control and here we got the drop down list control that's it we have done the designing part in the source page now let's open my SQL server database We'll create a stored procedure. I'm using the table country to bind the CNAME column into a drop down list control using stored procedure. So let's create a stored procedure. Come to the bottom. Notice there is a programmability folder. Expand that one. Stored procedures. Right click that one. New stored procedure. I'm adding my stored procedure name DD country is my stored procedure name I'm not adding any parameters here the select statement is select start from the table name is dbo.country I'm pasting here that's it let's create this stored procedure execute and here we got a message the stored procedure query is executed successfully now let's quickly switch over to the ASP.NET coding path we'll finish the rest of the code right click the source page view code first I'm adding a namespaces of SQL server using system.data using system.data.sql client after adding these two namespaces, now I need to add the connection string in the web.config file. Go to Server Explorer, right click the data connections, add connection, the server name of SQL Server. After adding the server name, I am choosing the database name, sample DB test connection is succeeded ok and here we got the sample db dot db connection string is added under data connections folder so we need the data source of this sample db right click that sample db dot db go to properties the connection string data source copy the whole thing open solution explorer open web.config file let's add the connection string I 
connection strings add name is equals to my connection is my connection name connection string I am adding the data source of sample db.dbo and the last one provider name is system dot data dot SQL client after adding the connection string in the web.config file now switch to the code behind I need to add one more namespace because we are getting the connection string from the web.config file so I am adding using system.configuration namespace now in the page load event string main con is equals to configuration manager dot connection strings between double quotes I am adding my connection string name which is my connection dot connection string SQL connection SQL con is equals to new SQL connection which takes up variable main con SQL command SQL com is equals to new SQL command SQL command dot connection is equals to SQL con now I am adding my store procedure name here SQL command dot command type is equals to command type dot store procedure SQL command dot command text is equals to between these double quotes I'm adding my store procedure name DDL country DD country copy that one and pasting here SQL connection dot open method now let's bind the data to a drop down list control drop down list one dot data source is equals to SQL command dot execute reader method drop down list one dot data text field is equals to the text field is C name, copy this one, drop down list dot data value field. The value field is a ID column, CID, this column. drop down list dot data bind method the final thing I am closing the connection string SQL con dot close method now I am adding a default value to the drop down list which is a select country drop down list dot items dot insert method which takes two parameters one is the, one is the index value starting value 0 new list item select country that's it we have done the complete coding part now it's time to check the results on the browser Google Chrome and here we got the final output here the country names are added that's it